Screen. hello hello and welcome back to the stream today i have every single clicky switch that i could find on the internet and i'll be ranking them on a tier list with our resident expert of clicky switches oh I'll put that on, on the side so not only is he our resident expert of, of switches okay okay he's also a switch connoisseur collector of switches galore and lover of helping people so if you got any questions feel free to ask it'll be a good time so let me introduce you to randy who is that person that i just talked about there we go that's better hello everyone i am randy <laughs> how are you clicky gang rise up Rise up, clicky gang. Like delay between video and sound? Oh no. That's probably my fault. Because I... I did not sync my microphone to my voice. We're gonna run with it though. So, I have a tier list. If you want to join in, feel free to do exclamation mark tier list and open up your own clicky switch tier list. And then, you know, we can compare answers. So before we start, is there anything you'd like to say about your love for clickies, Randy? I don't know. Just clickies are always neglected by by everyone, you know? There's no love for clickies. The, no, no brands ever um, release any clickies or anything like that. But they're kind of the most fun to type on as, as that one... Uh, LTT video said it's kind of like you're entering the matrix every time you use like kale box shades for example the only thing is they're kind of intolerable the sound so uh, I can't really argue with that fair enough accurate accurate all right 
R real question, real question. Have you actually ever used clickies in a legitimate keyboard build that you have used for an extended period of time? Yeah, actually, Box Jades were um, kind of my first actual switch that I bought separately. Um, uh, and I used those probably for three months until I switched over to Box Black. And then um, I swapped those into another build. So yeah, I've used I used box jays extensively quite a bit. I don't mm -hmm. really like using blues or anything. All right, sounds good. Myself, I've I've never looked back at clickies ever since I graduated from Razor Greens in 2019. So Razor I, Greens are actually really popular. Though. Yeah, I like them. I feel like they're they're extraordinary. They were a, a game-changing switch, so to say. So I've got my my beautiful box of switches, and I think I'm just gonna reach in there and see what we get after I figure out my camera problems. View. I love doing things live. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh gosh, what did I do to my <laughs> window capture three? No. Okay, I know what I did. Let me just, let me just reach into my box. And how many clickies do we have today? We've got a bunch. We actually, I think we have 30. I took, a, I took all the pictures and I listed all of the Garon blue variations in like one tile, except for milky blue for some reason. I don't know why I did that. So we have like five Garon blue variations. I think it's 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, nine times 30 is 27. 30 clickies. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. So the first one, let me, uh, which the first one. Well, this one's interesting. The first one is optical blue. I feel like that's that's ultra niche an optical blue switch let me bring back randy too it's weird about optical blues because they don't actually need like opticals don't actually need a leaf to work but they all have like an internal leaf at least the tactile ones and the clicky ones tend to have an internal leaf just for the feel for that tactile feel or for the click jacket Oh, what? I didn't even know that. So like that uh that's gold spring you see is is fake. It's fake. Spring is uh still used, but just the, the Oh, the leaf the leaf in the back. That. Okay, yeah, I I got gotcha. There we go. I'm so jank. <laughs> Let me switch this. Okay, got my optical blue, if it will focus. And the stem of it is slightly, I would say, even darker than a normal blue. Got a Cherry MX housing with a, with a fake leaf, but a real spring. Real spring. Anything about uh, the curves of said Garon blue, or does it not matter? See, I think uh, with most of the Gateron blues, they're going to have a similar force curve um, since they're all going to be just kind of the blue clone. I don't think they they feel quite as tactile as a true MX blue, um, uh, but they do feel a little bit more smooth. <laughs> yeah, I think I agree. They are, they're super smooth. I don't even think you need to lube these. Wait, 
so do you lube clickies or no? No. Uh, well, you can lube the spring if you want, if if um, you can hear the resonance at all when you're typing. Um, usually the click tends to cover it all up. Um, what bothers me a little bit more about some clickies is the rattle and the kind of scratchy, kind of scrapey sound that you, you hear. It's, it's really common with um, MX Blues, uh, especially like you can tell when you fully press down the switch and you shake it, it tends to rattle. Okay, um, this one's good. No, no rattle on this one. I didn't know that. That's very cool. So I did an experiment back in the day, you know, before I grew bigger, where I lubed all of my blues on... I don't, I don't remember what keyboard, but I did it without... I did it on a soldered build, so I didn't, like, have the switches open and lube it all cleanly. I just put lube in my switches and it was it was so inconsistent for one but also it was like not satisfying in the feel or the sound so I didn't recommend yeah, people do it just, after that just completely kills the character of all your clickies turns them into mediocre tactiles <laughs> but like mediocre tactiles on some and then mediocre linears on others oh gosh that's cursed <laughs> it's super cursed super cursed so optical blue, where, if we had to put it on our, tier, where is my tier list? Here is my tier list. Wait, wait, let me think. I'm going to think of where I would put it in my head. And then you think of where you would put it in your head. And then we explain why we would put it there. Okay. Okay. Give me a sec. Okay, I have my I have my tier. Do you have your tier? I believe I have my tier. Okay. I want to put optical blues in a B tier. Oh, B tier. Because I feel like the the switch doesn't need any mods, but also it's super smooth right out of the box and you you can't break it. Because it doesn't matter if the leaf is broken or not. That's true. Those good, are good logic, points. yeah. Really good logic here. <laughs> I would probably usually I give I give uh, clicky blue switches a default of around a C tier or between C and D tier, <laughs> just because they all tend to be like rattly and scrapey and stuff like that. But since the opticals. I mean, they're, they're, of course, a little bit less popular with the MX crowd just because they're opticals. But since they're a little bit less rattly and smooth, I, I could go with a B tier. I could go. I could agree with you. You could? You, you could do that? Them on C. I'd personally put them on C. Okay. Yeah. There's no B plus C minus. So I think yeah. it's... I mean, I, I could put it on C tier, but I, I have to think. But uh, I don't know, because it, if I put this on... Fair. B sounds, B sounds fair. Good. All right, where it's going on B. Looks pretty good. Our first switch. So beautiful, so beautiful. Oh, and I wanted to put it on a keyboard. And put keycaps on it, or else I feel like the sound here isn't fair. But then it doesn't matter because my keyboard is a weird keyboard that no one would ever like put their switches in. So I have an MW65 that I bought from someone on Meg Market at a, a, a very high price because I can't buy from Taobao myself personally. <laughs> Let me put a keycap on it. Uh, WTFA is asking, are the Gazoo Phoenixes on that list? Yes, they are. That's the one I'm holding up right now. Yes, they are. Randy knows a lot more about kazoo stuff than me. Okay. I've got a, I've got a, the keyboard with the keycap and the switch in it. So now the audio is fair. Okay. It sounds less good <laughs> when I do that, 
<laughs> when I put it inside an actual keyboard compared to like if I'm just clicking on it and shaking on it. Yeah, some clickies tend to do that, especially the the kale click bars. They sound a lot different um, when they're, when they're outside a board versus when you're actually inserted them in a board with a keycap. This doesn't sound too bad. I'm still gonna leave it on B. B is B is good. Nico says it's rattly sounding. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. You agree? <laughs> I don't know. That's just that's just my bias though. I kind of lump blues together. I agree. I agree with uh, Dan Wynn up there. He's like, just just throw them all in F tier. No, 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 no. They they are clearly S tier clickies. <laughs> very, very clearly S S tier. Yeah, we might as well go through the the bag. I've even labeled the bag. I labeled it clicky. Dang. I know, I took a whole day where I just sorted through the switches, labeled them, and, and then took pictures, and then put it in the tier list. So the next switch is the, uh, what are these? Kale Box? No. Kale Speed Golds. And uh, let me, let me rattle off what I know about them. They are Click Bar? Yes? No. Steve bronze are the click bar and uh, gold are the click jacket. Oh, darn. I didn't know that. I thought they were both click bar. Okay. Oh, Kale Speed Golds. You can tell because they've got a gold colored stem. And other than that, I mean, it just looks like a kale switch. Yeah, so <laughs> Kale Speed Gold, they're. Should be a click jacket, 1.1 millimeter actuation, three millimeter bottom out, um, with a 60 gram peak, uh, meaning that um, if you were to look at the force curve, it's 60 grams at the top of the little, at the top of the peak, at the top of the mountain of the tactile bump. Um, that also means that it takes 60 grams to snap past the tactile bump. That's interesting because it doesn't feel that heavy if I'm just pressing on it. Mm -hmm. These are also based on the, the the kale force curves and everything, so they should be taken with the gram of the grain of salt. Um, the actuation is going to be fifty grams, so it's really light tactile bump. It's only like a ten gram tactile bump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that. What was I going to ask you? I was going to ask you about force curves. What do you mean? the the mountain okay so um when you look at a tactile or a clicky force curve um instead of being uh like on a on a graph instead of being linear uh it's it's like an s curve uh so there's like a little a little hill at the beginning of the press and then it, it evens out into a linear into linear travel so when you look at a if you were to bring up a force curve let me let me bring up a force curve. Okay, I've got the K. It's it's a kale gold force curve. There's a press and a release. So yeah. All right. So in the beginning there, you see how there's some linear travel, and then it it starts to like jump up rapidly. So the very the highest point of that little hill there, between this um, what like 0. 0.5 millimeter and 1.5 millimeter there. Yeah, the highest point on the blue line is the peak force. Okay, I see that. So that's the, the highest amount of force that it takes to uh, that it takes for the for the tactile bump. Okay, so so zero is when you didn't press it at all. One yeah, so the is x-axis is going to be going is going to be your distance. And then the y axis is going to be uh, how much force is required. So as you press press down, um, there's going to be a little bit of linear travel. And then once you hit about 0.5, you start to feel the bump. And then 
you'll go up and then um, at about one millimeter is when you'll you'll hit the peak of the bump All right, and then from there it's just linear bottom out yeah and then it just breaks and then you go into linear travel okay yeah that that makes a lot more sense when you explain it like that and then these some people graphs also like to say some people also kind of like to say it's if you turn the the bump or if you turn the the switch stem sideways but that's not very accurate to say uh, if you just move it sideways and then draw a picture of it right <laughs> makes sense makes sense let's see has anyone else noticed that force curves are published a lot less for new switches nowadays hmm. yeah they definitely are um, one of the best resources community resources for uh force curves is going to be pylon uh, Pylon is just a community member. He's um, uh, helped with uh, designing the JWK Twilight switch. It's a it's a tactile switch with a T1 stem and a um, JWK, or no, it's a T1 housing with a JWK medium tactile stem. It's uh, really tactile, kind of like a blueberry. Pylon uh, is it? Yeah, is uh, it blue you, pylon yeah. here? Uh, yeah, same, same, same person. Yeah. That's you probably found the GitHub or something, right? Yeah, yeah, I found the GitHub. So is it the Does he have a website? Let me see if I I'll try and find <laughs> the link it for you, but yeah, there's a bunch of force curves uh that he's got. Yeah, these look a lot different than the kale ones that I just pulled up. Mm-hmm. It's kind of sketchy, you know, just, just going off of what the manufacturer tells you. You always have to go with a grain of salt, no matter what kind of switch it is, if it's a clicky, linear, or tactile. We must construct additional pylons. So is pylon a person, or is it this Oh, no, that's from, from StarCraft. Oh. <laughs> oh, a pylon is a person, yeah, but, but the, the name pylon is from StarCraft. Okay, uh, okay. From a uh, Protoss. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> some it's a something you have to build in order to get more resources. That's a cool name. I like that. <laughs> okay. Um, what else is there? Kale Gold's slick jacket. Although I I think it feels phenomenal, so you can hear it here. Kind of strange to see a speed clicky too, because you know how stereotypically they never uh, they never suggest clicky switches for gaming. It's always like even though gaming. all gaming keyboards come with like exactly, clicky right? switches. <laughs> That's my argument. Like if, if if they're not supposed to be used for gaming, why is Kale and Logitech shipping all these gaming keyboards with clickies? In That's them? true. Yeah, I totally agree. And. Uh, I think that's just how a gaming keyboard started was with clickies instead of linears. Ironic. So these, if I click and and shake, I hear like really loud rattle from these. Yeah. <laughs> what does that come from? That's from the click jacket itself uh, sliding up and down the stem. Oh, okay. Like internally. So there's, yeah, there's an extra little piece just rattling around in there just moving. it doesn't really matter you know when you're in a board typing and stuff but you can you can kind of tell the difference between click jackets and a click bar very immediately okay well i'll we'll have to compare i'll have to look at one side to side but here is kale gold's inside of a keyboard compared to optical blues Kale gold sound deeper. Okay. Could be to do with the housing as well. I believe the kale blues are going to be, are uh, the no the kales are going are they full nylon or is it just the are they actually the same materials? I think they're the same material. With the, cl nylon the clear top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the yeah. Yeah. I may be biased from this as well, so I'm warning you. But I'm going to think of where I'm going to put it, and then you you can... Actually, I'll let you go first this time. 
but give me a second to come up with where I would put it. Well, for me, okay, I like a more tactile. Uh, when I when I reach for a clicky, I like to feel uh, a lot more tactility in it. Um, and yeah, this one being a little a little lighter, kind of like the other blues with only a ten gram kind of uh, tactile bump. It seems a little. It seems a little light, maybe, but uh. I don't know if speed switches are so rare. I'm I'm gonna give it a B as well. Just let's just throw it throw it with the. Okay. Yeah, I that, was thinking the same there. thing. I was thinking the same thing. I think it's it's pretty smooth. It doesn't produce like a high pitched ringing sound, and for a clicky, it sounds clean. I think it sounds clean. Drag that up on there. I think this is the gold. Oh my gosh, two clickies in B? This is crazy. We're starting off strong. Yeah, this I'm... is why I'm like, put them all in, put them all no, in F. No, you can't put them all in F. I think there's, there, there's only one or maybe two that I think belong in F. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let you pick uh, the next one that we'll talk about. If you can tell what they are, it's just from looking at them. Although that's that's a skill. You can do that. From just the ones you have on screen there, the top row there? Uh, you oh, okay. all, all of them. Yeah, okay. all of them. All. Uh, let's go for a click bar switch. Ooh, yeah. okay. Uh, any, any one you like. Any one I like? I want to talk about those those new ones that you, you sent me that I've never seen before. Like the those, yellow and green ones? Those, yeah, those crystal looking ones. Oh, the crystal one. Oh, okay. So the crystal ones are, uh, they're different from normal uh, box jade, box pink, box navy, because um, the normal ones are three pin. These are going to be five pin. It's a fully transparent housing instead of the the white bottoms that you see on the, the normal kale click bars. Uh, and the springs are also different, so the box jade is going to feel a little bit lighter than the box crystal jade. Okay, I love how you called these kale clicky hell. <laughs> <laughs> it is clicky hell, especially for someone who doesn't like clickies and you got to test them all for a day. <laughs> so when you first test a switch, like, what does that process look like? When I, uh, like, physically have a, have a switch? Mm-hmm. Um, what kind of things do you look for? Just, the initial thing is just um, pulling it out of the back for a clicky switch. Uh, it's um, I do that that rattle test. Um, click bars don't really have that issue. Um, click jackets will. Um, I'll do I'll just press it a few times, and then the most effective test that I know really is um, besides just a side to side, like single test on a keyboard, quickly kind of thing, is um, yeah, probably just loading up like 30 <laughs> in a board and typing. <laughs> but if you don't want to do that with clickies, all it really is is just comparing the sh comparing the click sound, comparing the rattle, and comparing the, comparing the tactility. Mm -hmm. What matters more, the sound of the click or the feel of the switch for you? Uh, for me, it's all about key feel. Uh, the sound definitely matters, but uh, if it feels really good but sounds kind of iffy, I'll... I'll, I'll allow it, you know. <laughs> You'll allow it. <laughs> okay, let's see. These but, uh, are these yeah, are I think because with with most of these clickies, sorry, uh, with most of these clickies, I think, um, especially with the click bars, they're trying to trying to mimic the feel of like an Alps SKCM blue. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the the pinnacle of clicky mechanical switches, as far as like the vintage community and everyone is concerned. But they're so rare um, nowadays because they're they're not in production. So um, this is kind of the the closest thing you're going to get as far as the strong tactile feel. Yeah, I I tried ordering some of those Alps clickies for this video, and it it said it would take like over a month to arrive, and I was like, oh, I can't I can't wait that long anymore. <laughs> yeah, and the Mattias Alps uh, that they're that Otamu is making right now, they're not even the ones that people want, you know, people mm -hmm. want Alps SKCM, SKCL, uh, 
blue and brown, but those aren't the ones that are being produced. Yeah, they're, they're making a white one. And those aren't those aren't like available on mechanical like the usual PCBs yeah, that usually, we're using. If you right? Buy Mattias Alps. You can buy them separately and um, solder them into a PCB that supports it. But uh, otherwise, you'll probably have to buy either a pre-assembled um, Mattias board, mm -hmm. for example, like Mattias brand board, or you'll have to try and find a vintage board that has Alps in it. Okay, that's tough. Yeah, I feel and, like and, that's a hard, hard find nowadays. Yeah, and people know that our, after Kairosan kind of popularized them on YouTube, pe they know that people are looking for them. So, oh, they're um, cranking up yeah. the prices then. Yeah, and they're getting, and they're only getting more rare, you know, because they're not in production anymore. Mm -hmm. So there's a finite amount of uh, supply there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a good reason to look at pawn shops and antique shops. Ooh. Yeah, um, I think some people also look at like um, what old offices or old factories and stuff. We have to throw stuff out, or um, yeah, uh, a lot of a lot of stuffs on eBay. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you have to go dumpster diving. <laughs> I don't know if I'm willing to do that for some switches. Not something for some I'm willing. Blues, to. I'll, I'll go in a dumpster. You, you, how much are they worth? Um, I, quite a bit. I don't know if you, um, several dollars each, um, if you, especially if they're like consistent, cause, um, uh, the, some, some of the early war ones of the SKCM blues were actually pre-lubed, um, and they felt more consistent, but as time went on, they felt scratchier, inconsistent. They changed parts, um, and started just being less desirable overall, I guess. Several dollars each. That's. That's a lot, yeah, but they're... I don't, I'm not going to go dumpster dive for it, <laughs> but yeah. you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Make that extra buck or two or three or five. So these noble yellows, these are click bars. Noble yellows. Yeah. So noble yellows and glazed greens. They're part of the kale box China pack. They're uh, the click bar in noble yellow is going to be the same one that you find in the pink. It's a it's a mid size click bar. The same as the pink. Yeah, but the spring is different, so it feels completely different than a than a box pink or a crystal pink. So the pink is the heaviest. Mm -hmm. And then and then the yellow, then the green? Or is the spring yeah. of the green and the yellow the same? No, the the green should be a kale box white click bar so the thinnest click bar but it also has a different spring so they feel really similar to me um, yeah the, the, the... they feel very if, if you closed your eyes and you had to guess let me close my eyes actually and you mix it up and you had to guess which one is which Yeah, it's really hard to tell, right? I think this hand has a green. My left hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can you can feel the the thin click bar. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. What other switches have the thin click bars compared to the medium size click bars? So so thin is going to be on glazed green. Kale box white, um, and it should be on uh, speed bronze and pale blue. Mm. I'm not sure which one is on sherbet. I have a sherbet. So let me let me get that. And out. if you look at them visually, you can barely even tell the difference as well. So um, it's better relying on force curves for these ones, or you know, like swapping in the same springs in all of them and just testing them. Oh, yeah, because then you, you've taken out the variable of the weight. Now all you have to do is feel for that click bar. Yeah. Okay, I, I, can't, I can't tell even if they're next to each other. <laughs> I just can't tell. Okay, let me give them a... The sound of a glazed green...
clean. This, these are going to be the hardest to, to rank, I think. But you've been thinking about my it. My favorite here, so they're, they're going to be... <laughs> They're going to be ranking higher than everything else for me. <laughs> well, everything is already on B's. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, everything's already on on B's. So there's only a few options to go from there. Okay, let me let me really think about these. And you know, since these are all subjective, and when you try these switches, you know relative to each other your opinions change so if you do make it like a sliding scale kind of thing mm -hmm. like oh after i've tried these i want to move this one down to c tier or something like that oh we're totally allowed uh, to do that yeah yeah definitely we're totally allowed to do that because i i've i haven't touched most of these switches before this i was gonna leave it just like just fresh mm -hmm. okay let's see i put a sherbert in here i didn't mean to do that I meant to put the crystal pink. Okay, here's crystal pink and noble yellow. And glaze green. They all sound the same. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what I'm listening for, but they all sound the same to me. But they feel spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, the click bars to me are kind of sound and feel a little bit more crisp. Uh, they don't, they're not going to have quite that piercing sh sound, but mm -hmm. they are just sharp, I'd say. Yeah, I, I think the, the green one is like slightly lower pitched than the other one, but that may be just me pretending to be able to hear a difference between them. It could even just be being in like a different position in the board. Oh yeah, that's that's true too. This one's a, a the MW sixty five. I'm not gonna. I think it's a really jankly made board, so it's very inconsistent from place to place. Just I mean, uh, a lot of acrylic acrylic stacks and uh, acrylic ones are kind of like that. Okay, I know where I know where they're going. Oh, so where are you going to put these? I uh, I like the green more than the rest, so I'm going to put that in S tier and Ooh. put the yellow and the, well, the noble yellow and the crystal pink in A tier. Oh, yeah, I would put them, I would, I would, I would just throw them all in A personally, the click bars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're crisp. The click bars are much more superior than yeah. than the others. <laughs> For okay. me, really, the only the only thing is, uh, you know, just what what size click bar do you want? You're not going to be disappointed with any of them, so uh, that's that's why uh, I throw them. I just throw them all in A. Um, but they're not my preferred ones, so Ooh, that's why they're not S. They're not your prefer all the preferred ones. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, so we'll we'll get through all the all these box click bars then. I'm I'm interested. Since we have them out, we can now compare them like apples to apples almost. Okay, I've got I've got the, the basics of them. I've got box navy, box white, and box pale blue. What are the differences between these three? So box navy on the left, that one's going to be the thickest click bar and the heaviest spring of all of them. Um, so that one's going to be, yeah, the big boy click bar. That is a and big. Then... And then, and then box with white. the uh, kale box white in the middle, that's the thinnest click bar and the lightest spring. Um, for me, it sounds more clicky than it feels. And um, the Heavy, the pale blue is just going to be the same one, but a heavier spring. So the differences between these two is just weight. Yeah. They should have, they should both have the, the thin click bar. Yeah, I can feel that. 
And then this one's the big boy, Bucks Navy with the big boy. I yeah, think so the, these... the thicker, the thickest bar, I think it produces a lower tone. Maybe. <laughs> it, the, the spring helps as well, yeah. Um... You were saying before I interrupted you, so these... I just had a brain fart moment, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Right. From what it seems like, so here, here's what I'm getting from all this. So there's three click bars. There's the thin one, the medium one, and the heavy one. And then between those three, a company will just pick one and then be like, I'm going to pick a spring weight and then give it a color and call it something. And then they'll give something else another spring weight and then give it a color and call it something yeah, else. Like more or it, less, yeah. And, or like choose the different materials and stuff. Um, cause the, let, we'll just call the three different size click bars, white, pink, and jade. Like, um, cause, cause that's the, the, the ones that they're represented by. Uh, white is the thinnest, pink is the middle click bar and jade is the thick click bar. Are those like the OG ones that have used that click bar? Is that uh, why yeah, they name it that? Much. Yeah. Um, well, that's just how I, that's just how I call them, but, mm -hmm. um, it should be like thin, middle, and, and thick. Um, but the, the main thing being that the thick click bar was created by Mike at Novel Keys for the, the Box Jade and Box Navy. Um, oh, wow. Those were Novel Keys collaborations, so we have them to thank for the, for the best clicky switches on Earth. Did you just say the best? <laughs> That's right. That's right. The okay. best. Okay. The Box Navies and Box Jades. There's multiple reasons for that. There's multiple reasons for that, but... But yeah, we'll 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 talk about that when we get there. Okay. No, but um, yeah, the uh, the thin click bars. I think they're only going to give you about a ten gram tactile force, and the heavy click bars are going to give you thirty. So they're much more tactile feeling. They are. Yeah, I agree. They're they're also. I don't know if it's because of the spring that makes it feel heavier or if it's because of the thicker click bar that makes, or I guess it's both because you said the, the heaviest one is 30 grams. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I'm a fan of heavy, heavy, heavy click bar plus heavy spring is like. An it's ultra fatiguing, right? <laughs> ultra heavy switch. Yeah, it's super yeah. fatiguing. Uh, here's and the uh, Fox Navy. Go ahead. It's fatiguing, especially on the pinky finger and the ring finger. And the uh, the keycap profile actually matters a lot too. Uh, for some reason, with these click bars, depending on what profile you're using, they'll feel a lot heavier than they actually are. What's the, the profile that will make it feel the heaviest? Is it um, a thicker? For me, for me, the heaviest has been has been probably a flat profile, like a, like XDA, XDA or ZDA, um, along with certain typing angles, because you're hitting them a little bit off center, off, off axis. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know. Um, something about it just makes them feel a little bit heavier than if you're using Cherry. Well, Fogger says, I love heavy switches. What was the combo? I think you said a flat, a flat keycap profile plus a a thick click bar plus a a, a heavy spring. Yeah. So out of all of these, with these click bars, which one is the heaviest? Heaviest? Is it the navy? Yeah, it'll be navy or box navy. Um, I think if you tried the crystal jade, it might feel very similar. Um, perhaps a little bit stiffer than box navy, but the bottom out on navy is technically heavier. Okay, let me put them side to side. Yeah, I, I, I think the the crystal jade feels heavier just because it's super stiff at that like peak position. If you're looking at the mountain. Mm -hmm. But again, I mean, if I closed my eyes and just mix them up, I don't think I could tell them apart between these two. 
Because their click bars yeah. are the same. And for when you're actually typing at speed to the heavier spring might actually feel more comfortable for some people because the uh, the t the return is snappier. Like it feels like it overtakes the spring or the overtakes the click bar a little bit better than the jade spring. Oh, okay. I just realized I haven't actually ever like taken these apart to look at the click bar. Yeah. So what's cool about kale click bar or kale box click bar switches is that um, it's kind of a linear and a clicky switch in one. Um, so the front of the switch is going to be the linear part. And then on the back of the linear stem is this little horizontal leg that clicks the bar up and down. If I take it so, apart, will I break it? Uh, no. Um, you should be able to like assemble it and reassemble it and stuff like that. Um, you just want to make sure that uh, some of the parts don't fall out like the, the little slider or the 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 bumper thing that actually presses the leaf. Mm. You'll see when you actually take the box thing apart. But that yeah, seems if you risky. It, the nice thing about these is that if you um, remove the click bar or bend the click bar out of place, you just have a linear switch. So if you hate clickies, oh. you know it's kind of like a two in one. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm gonna grab my own switch opener while you open yours. That's cool. So yeah, here's the top housing. Let me see if I can refocus. Top housing. Standard. Spring, pretty standard. It's a actually a smaller spring than normal uh, than normal MX switches, so they're not compatible. You can't put this spring in an MX switch, but you could probably get away with putting an MX switch spring into this. Uh, it just wouldn't be the most stable. And then here's going to be the stem. You can see the little leg on the back here that clicks the bar. And then the linear leg right here. There's mm -hmm. actually only one linear leg that uh, hits the little bumper that actuates the, the leaf. Okay, yeah. No, it looks it looks funky. I've never opened one of these. This is so cool. Yeah. So, um, like, in the front, do you see how there's, like, that little cover on the front where the leaf should be? Like, right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the, with the, the metal bar, is that what you're talking about? Uh, that's actually the back side. So, oh, the metal okay. bar, that's the backside the click bar and that's where the rgb will shine through on the yeah. opposite side that's where the leaf is inside um inside the box and that's why they're called box switches oh okay it's, it's not they're the, it's not, not the, the stem, stem. It's, yeah the stem uh. is just called dust proof but um yeah this the the, re, the the reason they're called box is that the the leaf is boxed inside its own little section and that's what makes it ip56 oh that's cool so you can't mess that up even if you wanted to yeah, um, you could like pop that off, I think, and then pop the little bumper off and then have access to it. But yeah, just like this, there's no way that dust or anything is really going to get, get in there. Okay. But this construction is also why it doesn't take too well to lube. And why like is the, it? The, the stem, um, the stem isn't really, there's no legs for like a linear, you know, there's only one leg for a linear. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you lube that, um, it just all builds up on that surface and get gets pushed off to, to one side or the other. Um, and yeah, on the old ones, there, there was so little, the tolerances were basically so tight that it would move all of the lube to one side or the other. So you don't really get the benefit of it unless you only lube the spring. Oh, I see. Okay, I've always thought it was because, like, oh, it's it's box shaped, so it it won't, it doesn't lube properly or something. Oh, that was a complete misconception. And there used to be like a hole on the bottom of the housing too, so mm -hmm. lube could get out the bottom and onto the PCB and make a mess of things. Yeah, that's why I thought you couldn't lube these switches. Yeah, they just don't really respond as well as other switches, so. Um... But click bars, you don't have to lube them anyway. And they're like 
three dollars and fifty cents for ten of them, and it's an end game clicky switch and a linear if you want it to be. <laughs> I, on, that's the best switch. I best don't switch. know a linear if you want it to be. That it's still it's a lot of effort to convert these into linears. <laughs> That's true, but so is so is the Zeal Clicky that that's coming out, the three and one switch that's, that's coming yeah, out. You that's gotta a take lot that apart. Effort. Yeah. And it's a dollar and thirty cents each on sale. Yeah, it's really like expensive. For one switch. That's yeah, it's three times as much as a click bar. Come on. The, <laughs> it's end game. That's the best switch. It's, you get you, there's end no argument. Game, you say yeah, it's end game. End game clicky. The jade specifically, or just just, the... just click bars in general, just but for me, a jade. Stuff. Yeah. Why is a jade your favorite compared to the other ones? Um, just the weighting of the spring and the the side the the weight of the click bar. Um, yeah, uh, it's the tactility was the key feel was the most pleasing. I guess it was the the most tactile of them. But uh, not heavy enough that it feels super fatiguing every time you type. Okay, okay, I, okay. I don't know if I agree with that, but I mean, keep in mind, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of big guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you heavy-handed when you're typing? I'm very heavy-handed. Yeah. Okay. When I type. That I makes bottom sense. out almost everything too. So. That makes sense then. Cause I, I feel like with the with specific click bar switches, if I'm not typing a certain way, like if I hit the corner of a key instead of the middle, like it won't press. Mm -hmm. the, uh are zeal aren't zeal clickies just a rerun of the original zeal switches? I could have swore that's what he said in the first announcement email. Zeal clickies are a rerun of the first Zeal switch. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I don't. I don't know about that. Um, I think that the I I I thought the first Zeal switches were were linears. Or uh, linears and tactiles like Telios and Zelios. Yeah, I I think those were what I think the first Zeal switches were. Clickies are new. They even trademarked the name. The Domo switch opener is amazing. Yes, also very expensive. Well, that Domo switch opener is very fancy. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. I I haven't looked into like how it opens stuff and where the pieces go, but it looks fancy. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're we're on box jade, crystal jade, box white, and box navy. I already know where where you're you're gonna put box jade. <laughs> <laughs> Since you've been raving about them. Oh, would you put the box shade and the crystal jade in the same tier? Um mm, uh, it I would say it depends on the person, how heavy handed they are, uh how much how how much they want a heavy switch. Um for me, I, I find them a lot more fatiguing than just a normal jade. So I probably wouldn't put them in the same tier. And S tier has to be kind of exclusive anyway, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Only, only one. Wait, can only one switch make it to S tier, or is it like? No, no. But, but it's, it's, it can't be like more switches in S tier than there is in, in the, like anything else. I yeah. Think. <laughs> okay. I w personally. But you know, once you throw in preference, it's hard to say. So. Yeah, I think I think personally, I would put. I would put G, uh, Jade and White in s tier and then pop navy in a tier and crystal jade in in b yeah that, yeah i think that's what i would yeah. do does crystal feel heavier to you than uh than the navy yeah it, it feels it like it gets stuck almost i feel like it gets stuck mm. whereas navy like i could press anywhere and it would be okay but i would have to press yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I agree that the 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 jade, the crystal jade for me is probably the stiffest one of all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Even though it has the same click bar as the jade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spring makes a huge difference in these switches. Have you tried a a hundred gram spring in one of them? I haven't just because uh, I haven't been able to. I would have to order a a hundred gram kale box spring specifically, oh, that's or get right. like a kale box ancient gray, an uh, ancient in order to gray? stick in them. What is that? Yeah, ancient gray is um, it's a linear. It's a one hundred gram linear. Uh, that's uh, part of the China pack. It's legit, just out of the yeah, factory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can you can get them on mechanicalkeyboards.com. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy! It's a, it's a kind of like a box clone of MX Gray, which is also like a ninety gram or hundred gram Cherry MX switch. But people, you you never you never really see it. Yeah, I feel like no one would really want to buy this thing, but it seems memeable. <laughs> <laughs> Gamble yeah, like is every every clicky is S tier. <laughs> Throw some seventeen hundred gram springs in a in a click bar. In a heavy click bar and just be like, Yeah, I dare you to type on my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Every clicky's S tier, clicky positivity. Are box mute jades going to be in this list? I think we had a conversation about this, like we, we weren't sure whether box mute jades would make it. In this list or not, but since they're still a click bar, they technically still click, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can put them in here. I got some. I got some mute jades over here. Me too. Me too. I I think I ordered a whole a whole pack of them from Nawakis. Spent a lot of money on this video. <laughs> Your fingers would have a six pack. Randy, you type yeah. on pretty heavy switches. Would you say your fingers got a, got a six pack? Um, I wouldn't say they have a six pack. I would say I have brought worse for fingers. <laughs> I I can't say the same. But They've I got a, have a six pack. My fingers have power bellies, not six packs. <laughs> it's still something to be proud of. You're like a strong man. All right. Oh, I, I I said where I would put them, but where were you gonna put them? Okay, so, um, so yeah, we're on the yeah. So Jade's S tier, um, I Navy. I would also put S tier, and then uh, Crystal probably, probably A. Yeah, I I have to fight you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that in B tier. And then Navy, Navy A. I, I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you said Navy S tier. Yeah, I mean, just, if, you, if you ask a lot of the community, this is, I wouldn't personally use Navy most of the time, but if you ask a lot of the community, a lot of them actually prefer Navy to Jade, even though it's a heavier spring. What? Just for that, just for that return thing. Does it make them type faster, or is it like a? a I don't know, it's probably just preference. It just feels a little bit more comfortable, I guess. Even though it's, uh, it doesn't feel as sluggish as a jade, is what some people say. Whereas I don't normally, I don't really find a jade too sluggish. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. Between between the navy and the jade, if if I'm Typing real slow, I, like I can't even press down on a navy enough to actuate. Yeah, yeah, they they're kind of. <laughs> you, you have to go. <laughs> you gotta commit. Mm -hmm. You gotta like slam down. <laughs> what about box white? Mm, that I'd put that in. B or C tier personally, oh. just because it, it sounds more yeah, I know, right? It sounds it sounds more tactile than it it sounds more clicky than it feels. It feels like a linear, but sounds like a clicky. Oh for me. 
now that you it, it sort of reminds me of like a clicky mx brown <laughs> with the way exactly that it like feels it. actually oh. yeah and it's it's slightly higher pitched i think too but yeah i mean it's it's kind of like the worst of both worlds you know you get like you took the worst part of a linear and the worst part of a clicky and put them together and, and it's lightweight and it well you can game with it game or... yeah I think these are all of our box. No, we still have we still have sherberts, sherberts and um, speed bronze. And uh, you got some white owls as well. I oh, think. Oh yeah, I do. Whoever recommended I purchase white owls that one time, I I appreciate it. <laughs> They're nice. They're nice. I I like them. Kind of wondering how high these are going to score too. Then, hmm. I like them. I mean, they look cool. They don't have that. They don't have that. Uh, that clear housing of any kind. Sort of a opaque, opaque, opaque top housing with a white stem. Let's see from the yeah, field. Yeah, they're really cool. I think um, it's a I thin believe... click bar, right? I believe these are actually the same hmm, the white owl. I wanted to say these are jades, but uh, I but think I think those are thin. actually bullet. But these might actually yeah be thin or middle click bar. Okay, let me compare them side to side. I I white think owl. they're thin. The data says seventy gram peak and a forty gram actuation for like a twenty something, twenty something gram drop. That sounds like a jade to me, but uh, I'm not really sure. You would have to compare the sizes of the click bars, I guess. When you say click bar, is it that that metal bar in the back that we looked yeah. at before? That's the click bar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So to compare sizes, you would just turn the switch upside down, and uh, just kind of compare thickness of the bar. Without even having to take it apart. Yeah. You, it's it's kind of a visual thing. It's it's not it's not too obvious though. Oh, like the the difference in size. I don't think I'm that experienced to to be able to do that. Okay, I've got a box white and a the the white owl. And it's a thicker click bar than the box white. Uh. Yeah, the spring makes a huge difference here because this looks like a much more um, either a steep curve linear or like a much more progressive feeling spring, uh, meaning like a much larger difference from the top of the key press to the bottom of the key press. Um, and I think these are going to be, yeah, these are palm, palm bottom and palm stem. Does that make them smoother? Uh, <laughs> Does that change? Like cream, kind of like cream or box cream. In theory, after breaking in, it could be a little smoother, um, but uh, at the beginning, maybe not. I don't know that you would even be able to tell with a clicky switch, anyway. No, I, I don't think, I don't think you can tell the difference between any of these in terms of smoothness, because you're just looking out for that bump, or that's all you yeah. feel, really. Okay, the, these are these are next level. That's all I've got to say. Maybe it's an appearance bias because they look so cool. I think they do have a medium sized click bar. I can't, can't trust what I say though. I'm only just learning that there's three different click bars today. Three different click bars from Kale. Wait, um, what? <laughs> uh, three. Um, I don't know if Spree makes them anymore, but Spree designs. Um, the person who also does the spree springs um, uh, has, I don't know, 10 or 15 click bars available in like varying weights in like five, five gram differences. And they have one that's actually thicker than the Jade click bar. It's a 40 gram super thick click bar, but mm. you can't really find them anywhere. I don't know. They're not really available and they're sold out on his site. Oh, man. I've been trying to get a hold of them. 
for like two years, but haven't been able to uh, to get them. Yeah, two years is a long time. I feel like it's that search may be may, may not go anywhere. <laughs> A white owl. That's what it sounds like. Between white owl and jade, it's it's lighter. I like it more personally. Let's see. Box whites are most similar to MX blues, but with a clean click. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say that blues for me sometimes feel more tactile. Than box whites. Yeah, but uh, the clean the 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 click is unbearable. So I just wouldn't even use blues. <laughs> I would probably use white over blues. No blues. Yeah, I I can't stand any of the like Garon yeah, Kale or Cherry Blues. They all feel the same. Yeah, I would put White Owls in in S tier. I think they're very Ooh. similar to Jade's. Ah, uh, plus one for the thick click bars. What was I saying? S tier. That's right. S tier. <laughs> S tier. S tier. All right, White Owl. <laughs> I feel like we're just going to have rows of threes down the line here. Especially as we go into some of these other ones. Okay, Sherberts. Sherberts. NK Sherberts. So these are also click bars, except they don't have the box shape stem. Yeah, so the Sherberts um, should be a standard MX, like a standard MX stem switch um, with a wing latch housing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it, has, it should have, I think it has a thick click bar. I'm not really sure. Um, but it, I think it might be a little bit more wobbly than, than the, the jades and the click bar, uh, the box click bars. Yeah, it almost doesn't feel as crisp when you're pressing down. It's like, I don't know, it, it's, it's almost like one side clicks faster than the other side. Whereas on these <laughs> other switches, it's like, well, it's just one click. Yeah, I don't know. Sherberts to me are a little wonky. I'm not really sure how to feel about them, how I feel about them. Um, I probably wouldn't buy them like, uh, like a, full, a full set of them unless they were thrown into the mystery switches just because they are more expensive than jades and stuff uh, they're so, more expensive yeah these are like four bucks or something like that each or oh. four bucks uh, for ten. Oh wow yeah these are more expensive okay these aren't these aren't as interesting as the other ones too they're like oh you're, yeah. you're sort of lightweight you're sort of clicky like it doesn't it doesn't have that oomph that the, yeah. the other ones had Kind of just mediocrity in a yeah, click bar. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to say anything mean, but it's not impressive. For, yeah. For a click There's nothing switch. noteworthy about it, really. Yeah. So, let me. Uh, okay. Mm, okay. I know where I'm gonna put it. Have you thought about your location I'll yet? Probably. Uh, I feel bad putting a click bar so low, but I'll put it D probably. Uh, yeah, I was thinking the same. I was thinking the same. D tier for the NK Sherbert. Also, Kale Sherbert, I think. Are Zeo clickies on the list? I asked them to like send me some, but they they said no. Or no, no, they didn't even say no. They just they 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 didn't answer. We're not cool enough no, for Zeal to notice. I'm not, yet. I'm not cool enough. I'm not cool enough. But I think I can get in with Kale for their their new newer stuff. Nice. They haven't told me about, but nice. <laughs> the V2 Brown actually looks a lot more tactile than a Brown has any right to be. Oh dang. V2 Brown. 
Yeah, I, I have to I have to get back to them. Let them know that I I'm in. Okay, I've got my next group of four clicky switches. An interesting bunch. These are uh I've got Gateron Milky Greens. <laughs> Yeah, milky greens. Another switch you never really hear anything about, really. They're just heavy blues, you know? I don't know. Do they feel that different to you? No. No, they don't. Let me grab a blue. Like a normal blue? Just a normal Gateron blue? It's pretty much just a, like a Gateron blue with a heavier spring. There's no change to the stem or anything besides the color. Okay, yeah, if you yeah, they're they're slightly heavier. Bare barely. Is it like just ten grams? Uh I wanna say it's like twenty grams, but yeah, it's it's, it's pretty I don't know, some, I've heard because I hear some people saying it changes completely how the clicky switch the, the, the blue feels, but I'm not I'm not really buying it, you yeah, know. Yeah, I, I don't buy that. I ca I'm calling BS on that. <laughs> Unless their fingers are a little more sensitive. I'd be really impressed if someone could get all these clickies and then just by the feel of them be able to identify like this is a thin click bar. This is 45 grams. This peak act actuates here. <laughs> That'd be impressive. Between the blues, I don't know. That would you'd, you'd probably go insane just practicing. That's true. Between all the different blues. Joseph says the milky greens look good. I like the way the milky switches look, to be honest. There. Yeah, the milky switches are nice looking compared to the polycarb like clear housings. I like the definitely. I like the milks way better. Okay, milk, milky green. It's a, in my opinion, I I feel like it's it's similar to uh, what the sherbet felt like. Like uh like it's it's nothing nothing amazing to, to to rave about. Unless you you just you like something a little bit heavier. So I would put it in D as well. Yeah. Throw them down there. Throw them down there. <laughs> we need more switches down here in uh in D and D and F land anyways. I think they'll fill up soon. <laughs> I think so too, actually. We're we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, the next one is a an abomination that I created a long time for a video. I think these are called blue bombs. And this uh, one oh right, the band switches. You know a little bit more than I do about these. Well, I just called Tubes one day since I saw his video and I was like, hey, how do you make your switches? I need to make a really loud keyboard. So he told me and I put them together, but I sanded the top housing and now it's like super duper, oh, super God. duper scratchy. Oh God. <laughs> and it's it's not that they're loud. It's that the, the pitch of it is so sharp that when you're listening to it, it, it like it hurts you. Yeah, like it, it pierces, pierces everything. Yeah, and especially under, like if you put it on a keyboard with that really thin aluminum plate, and then you let oh. it, you let it ring. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, it, it hurts. But, but in terms of like volume, it's not as loud as the other ones. Mm. It's just different. It's a different breed. But I don't ever recommend someone make it. It doesn't feel as tactile as the other ones. The click also isn't as satisfying. It's so much a, effort for a curse switch. It's an abomination. <laughs> yeah, that was when Shub said, did you even watch the original video? He was so mean. Thrash, Dread Thrash, Tony, Tony says, I don't know if I'm the only one who has thought box royals were clicky switches. I thought it was because the tactile bump is so loud. 
<laughs> yeah, you're not wrong about that. They're actually known for going clicky. Like, they get even more clicky. <laughs> After the lube wears off on the um, the internal, uh, the internal, I guess, little bumper for the leaf, man, yeah, it did a... Uh, you might as well you might as well have bought mute jades or clickies. <laughs> but do box tactiles wear down into click clickies like they become clickies? Um not really. it's it's just uh, it's just that the lube wears off so the you can hear like a little ticking sound every time you every time you press and it just yeah it feels somewhere in between a tactile and a clicky like more noise than a tactile should be making mm, yeah yeah i think while well, when i was sorting switches the other day i stumbled upon one of those and i was like is this a tactile or a clicky yeah. so that that is a tough one okay let's see uh blue bombs i i'm i'm throwing them straight into f tier yes that's the only place for them get out of here <laughs> It went straight into F, F tier. All right, so let's do the 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 gazoo ones. I don't know anything about these switches, so you're gonna have to educate me. Okay, so gazoo switches. The the cool thing about the okay, I'll start. I guess I'll start this way. Gazoo switches are made by Otemu. They're premium Otemu switches, so they will fit in all the Otemu sockets and everything. Um, and they're designed by Gazoo or Paul or Tao, um, uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, HB Heroin Bob. Um, he came in uh, a few years ago for, uh, to Otemu, I believe. And first he worked on the, the Phoenix, the Sky, and the Silent Sky. And you can tell his work by the little uh, yin yang on the bottom housing. Um, so the clicky ones that you're holding up right now, the Boba Phoenix on the left and the uh, Odumu Phoenix on the right. They're, the special thing about them is the stem. They're click jackets, but they're Aristotle clone stems. Um, the Aristotle is a... It's an old Taiwanese MX clicky clone, basically, before um, before Cherry had to give up their patent, or before Cherry lost their patent, actually. Um, so these are going to have a much longer uh, tactile leg compared to the other click jackets. And they're going to feel much more tactile as well. But the, the sound on these two is a little thin and hollow and scrapey and not very pleasant compared to the rest of the clickies, I guess. Yeah, scrapey is probably the most accurate descriptor I've heard of these. But I don't know. Uh, as far as the tactility goes, I'd say that the regular Phoenix is rivaling box jade. It's somewhere between pink and jade. Um, while the the Gazoo Boba Phoenix Click, that one probably overtakes Jade. The Gazoo Boba Phoenix is the yeah. So the, the white one, one on the left, uh, yeah. the the with the Boba housing on your in your left hand, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the, the Boba Phoenix. Yeah, that one's got a strong click. And these have no click bar. No, right. they don't. Okay. okay. <laughs> These are probably my favorite click jacket switch. Um, well, the the boba ones are probably my favorite click jacket switch. Um, but they they don't sound very good, so I don't really use them. Yeah, they they don't sound amazing, and they don't feel great. They feel really like ultra yeah. scratchy compared to the other ones, where you just you don't care if it's scratchy or not because you you feel mm -hmm. the the click. But these, yeah, you can not... sort of feel the long thinness of the leg, kind of, yeah. Just rubbing against everything as it goes down. Yeah. Let me put this on here too. Yeah, these. And these also, are... I don't think that you can find them anywhere right now. Um, the the normal phoenixes, I think they're only maybe available on AliExpress, possibly. Mm -hmm. um, everywhere else is out of stock uh, unless you buy directly from Gazoo and same thing for the Boba um, Phoenix Clicks you'd have to order parts directly from Gazoo or maybe from Kerbal Keys I uh, I personally Franken switched to these so like oh. uh, yeah more effort than, <laughs> than uh, should have been put in for switches that aren't going to be used 
<laughs> they feel great. I, 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 I like them a lot as far as the tactility and everything goes. Yeah, they feel good. They feel good. They just don't sound very good. But if you got headphones all the, all, all on all day, then it's, it's okay. Yeah, they, they do not sound good. Oh my gosh. I'll, I'll, I'll play some sound. I think they even, uh, they even rise my decibel, like my levels higher than the other switches did. Oh, wow. I didn't think they were that much louder, to be I honest. I didn't think but... so either. Like just listening to them next to my ear, they, they sound more muted. Just cause, uh, like, I don't, cause there's no click bar. There we go. Okay. Now they're, they're right. Ugh. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of these. But then, but then now yeah. we have to think like they don't sound great. But they feel pretty good. Yeah, so it's hard to it's kind of hard to rank if if sound is more important than uh, than feel or anything. It's you know this is one of those cases where sound kind of does make you have a different feeling of it. You know, mm -hmm. it does affect your opinion of it a lot. It's also like the, the return of it isn't as crisp either. Mm -hmm. It gets better with the uh, heavier springs as well, but then that makes them more fatiguing to use. <laughs> okay. I think I know, I think I know where I'm going to put them. I think I would put the Boba Phoenix in C and the other one in D. That sounds pretty good. You, you agree. If you're judging, if I'm judging only on key feel, then I would probably put, um, I'd probably put them in A and B tier. But the fact that the sound is there, yeah, it kind of lowers it a bit. Yeah, the the sound is mm, just. If they sounded slightly better, I think we could bump them up. But the sound takes away too much. What do we have? We're going into all the ones that look like they all look like blues at this point, and I can't tell what is what. Yeah, we're, <laughs> to be honest, I just kind of throw all the Gateron blues into one category because they're, I don't, yeah. Because <laughs> they're all the same. <laughs> they're all Gateron blues, yeah. So um, what are the, what are the differences between like? A Garon SMD or a Milky Garon Blue or a Garon Blue Black so, Housing or Yeah, so I mean housing differences pretty much are the only thing. Um like for Gateron, there's no such thing as like a milky Gateron. It's just another variation of, of KS3 or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um so the main differences are gonna be sound and smoothness, if you can judge the smoothness on a clicky switch. Um, like the uh, the milky housings, the top housings, they're rumored to possibly have fiberglass in, in the blend. Um, so that gives them that little slight poppiness um, that you would find in the linears and tactiles. Not sure that it would change too much in the clicky sound. Um, the, the pros are pre-lubed. I don't know that that would really help them very much. I, that might make them worse. I'm not really sure. Oh, I ha I have some. I just have a whole box. I have boxes of these because Keychron sent sent them to me for uh, with the one of their keyboards. I think the Q2, but I don't know why they did because I did not put them in anything. Yeah, if thinking? sound were important, would we be using clickies? Yeah, absolutely not. You know, clicky users, choose, they're the type of people that, you know, wake up and choose violence. They have the loudest personalities. They they just, you know, live unapologetically. So if you're one of those, you love clicky, you know. It, it sounds like you have someone in mind when you're talking about clicky users. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, yeah, yeah, possibly. But <laughs> just, uh, just stereotypically speaking, too. Generally speaking, 
These are all of, all of my blue variants, including Phantom Blue, which I really don't think is any any different of a blue than the other blues. Yeah. Except they're so, colored. I mean, the, the SMD ones obviously work better for RGB. Those Phantom Blues might tint your RGB a little bit blue. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's other other than that, it's all the same click jacket. It's all the same leaf, and it's all the same tooling. There just might be different molds. Oh, just like uh, different like colors. One mold is newer than the old. Yeah, one mold is newer than the other type of thing. So basically, they're all the same, and they're all mediocrely clicky. Yeah, I mean, slight differences, but negligible differences to the average user. And they all do the rattle thing you talked about. Yeah. Wow. So you can tell, like, if you were typing at speed and there's this spring that's constantly, Just you know, making around. them jump up and down like a, like a click jacket works, then mm -hmm. you can kind of hear the rattle and you can hear the resonance, especially in a hollow board or a mm -hmm. metal board. Uh, I think these are all going into, uh, they're either going into D or F. Don't think we can, yeah. I don't think we can argue for them to go any any higher than that. What do you think? I would agree with that one hundred percent. Yeah, they're they're not going any higher. The blues. Mm, I'm gonna put them in F because I feel like uh, <laughs> I feel like these three are better than are better than those as a fair statement mm -hmm. i think this one's a phantom blue this one is another blue i this one's a kale blue there they're all going here there was one special one that i wanted to talk about the gixian blue from my for my super ultra ultra budget build i don't know where oh. i got these it was a really yeah. really cheap keyboard i can't even find any information really regarding jixian blues or jishan blues <laughs> on the internet anywhere other than they're possibly 45 gram ish actuation blues yeah they're super just like a getter on whatever they yeah. have the wing latch housing and other than that like the the tooling on them is is phenomenal, you know. They're they're all messed up. Yeah, the the it looks like really low quality quality control. Yeah, I I think this keyboard that I pulled them off of was twenty three dollars or something like that. Huh. So very cheap. Wow. Going straight into F tier. You buy. Like, I think and it's like, should there be a tier lower than F for those yeah, now? That's that should be like Z tier because that's much worse than these other blues. Trash tier switches. <laughs> Never get these blues. Never. Don't do it. Every blue is an F. It's true. Yeah, the greens. You said they were just heavier. Yeah, greens are just heavier versions of 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 blue. Um, but with the, with the kale ones, it's a little different. Uh, the kale ones, uh, I believe, are going to be heavier. Heavier. Um, that than... might be a pro green. I th that might be a kale pro green. Oh. Uh, if that's a pro green, then I think it's just a standard like sixty gram bottom out clicky click jacket. But uh, it has a reduce slightly reduced travel like 1.6 millimeter travel so it's like a speed green almost slightly <laughs> fast slightly green. speed like not as speed as speed but faster than a normal one <laughs> so semi semi speed semi yeah. speed green that's what it is uh, there's not there's not much to say about these they're just not yeah, so not special if you like clickies and you like gaming and you want to have the fastest switches, 
quote unquote, then Practice. go for like either a speed or a pro. Yeah. They're for pros, but not gamers. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's see. I, I feel like I, I can't put them. Wow, loud car. I feel like, why did I put this milky green here? Is it because I just thought it looked cool? Because <laughs> it felt kind of like the sherbet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That means I f these other greens could go there too. But then there's just heavier blues, so that doesn't justify that they're better. My whole you, yeah, logic's... It's all preference, right? That's the beauty of the, of the personal tier list. My logic's just falling apart in front of your very eyes. All right, they're, they're going in D tier. If switches were logical, these ones wouldn't exist. <laughs> switches, clickies would be a no-go for everybody. It'd be like JWK. No, the clickies don't even exist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They only... No. They do tech house too. I was about to say, they only do linears. I only pay attention yeah, to they the were, linears, basically. They're supposedly... Well, they, they JWK makes the C3 and the key company TKC switches mm -hmm. and TKC has been developing the Blackberry clicky for like two years or something, but there's been no, no real um, news about it recently. So I'm not really sure if they're still going at it, but I think that would be the first JWK clicky switch. Maybe they if it's, gave uh, up. C3. Maybe yeah. they thought it wouldn't sell. So they're like, just put the program on halt. We can't move forward. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've got the, what are these? These are Vox Mute Jades. Oh gosh. How did these they are so mute weird. these? So the main thing is that there's a small silicone dampener in the top housing that pushes down the, the click bar and that dampens it from the return sound basically and kind of restricts the movement on it. So that's why I believe that the bump feels a little smaller than something on a jade. It feels yes. more like a box royal or something to me than a jade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have the the like the jump. That yeah, the is. snap. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the snappy feel. If anything, it feels like like one of those other switches we just looked at, like the the boba kinds. Mm. Like the Phoenix, just any click jacket or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just feels like a click jacket. It no longer feels like there's a bar there. Yeah, since the it's kind of, I guess, uh, in a pr slightly pre-clicked position, like it's in a what loaded position, you know. Mm -hmm. So it, that that kind of reduces some of the. The, the length of the tactile bump, I, I should say. And the sound it makes is like atrocious. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very strange. I don't know. It is kind of like listening to Jade's through a pillow or something, or uh, a tactile with really bad leaves. <laughs> yeah, it sounds weird. I mean, they have their place, I guess, but they're definitely not what I was expecting or a lot of people were expecting, I so think. So what is their place? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, I I think their place is you, you bought them and now you have to justify using them. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, uh, it's... They're, they sound kind of nice. If you, if you like that particular sound, I guess, if you have the right setup, it sounds good. If you're into kind of more vintage boards or even boards kind of like Alps or, or, or Buckling Springs where that metallic sound is part of the character, you might like it because it does sound like nothing else really out there. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like you did, you're, you're watching a video of someone typing on box jades, but they just turn the volume down or you're listening to them like blasting from a pair of earbuds a few feet away from you. Yeah, or they got a bad microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Playing through a tin can kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like my my old microphone, everything felt like it was from a tin can. 
Okay, mock midgets. Do we still consider them clickies? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> They're click bars, but they don't they don't, they, they don't have the normal qualities of a click. They don't make that click. They're like sound. some kind of bastardized hybrid. <laughs> so do they even belong on this tier list? Uh you could argue either way, I suppose. Um because if, if we put them on a clicky tier list, because they're not clicky, they would be like unfairly ranked against all these other clicky switches. Yeah. But if we put them on like a tactile tier list, maybe they would do all right. Yeah, because it's a new system. Uh, there's no other tactile that Have uses it. that type of uh, mechanism. Mm-hmm. So we may think they're abominations, but they they could be innovating. They're onto something here. Yeah, the new right. wave of tactiles could be click bar tactile. There's actually some um, some community members. Uh, Tofu Soup is one of them. Uh, I forget the other dude's name who introduced it. Unfortunately, I'll I'll see if I can look him up. Uh, but they, yeah, Tofu Soup came out with this video recently comparing the mute jades. And uh, he, they, they, they had this mod where they took band aids and taped them to the bottom, the bottom floor of the bottom housing, you know, to to kind of dampen the the stem itself. Mm -hmm. um, and that kind of produced a slightly more ideal version of box mute jade, I guess. But either way, I think that it's too much work uh, <laughs> for what it's worth. Yeah, to band-aid every individual switch. And and the, the space down there is so small, too. You, you would need really delicate mm -hmm. fingers or tweezers. or. Yeah, it's a very tedious process. Mm -hmm. And it's like to just to salvage some switches or to make them a little bit more interesting than they... Or a little bit more muted than they otherwise are. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was... It might be, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like they, they could have muted these switches more from the factory. Like, instead of someone having to do that and mute the stem bottom, like, mm -hmm. they could have done that. They could have figured that out. I mean, yeah, the, they could have done something like uh, TTC did with their bluish-white and do, like, put a little piece of silicon in the bottom, the stem pole, you know? Um to kind of dampen the stem that way. It's mm -hmm. kind of like a trampoline mod um, where you take an O-ring and put it in that bottom hole there and then maybe use an O-ring on the stem itself. Sounds like a, a, another tedious mod. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of switch mods I didn't know about. Okay. If this were a clicky switch, I think I would put it in... I, it's like it's so unique. I, I would put it in D. Yeah, it's hard to say C or D for me. Uh, I think that's fair. C yeah. or D. Either way, either way you want to put is is probably fine with me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so unique that I feel like I can't just go and toss it into F tier just because it doesn't click. Mm hmm. And C is kind of just mediocrity, you know, so. Yeah, they, they could have done, they could have done better, but I like where they're taking tactile switches. Mm -hmm. it could change the entire game. Okay, what? Yeah, is Kale, Kale is kind of the most, the most innovative clicky switch manufacturer probably out there just because they have you know, two different varieties that, uh, with, with different feelings. Mm -hmm. There's like, I mean, there's click jacket and click bar, but in click bar, there's so many different sizes that, you know, they're, 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 no one's really paying as much attention to clicky switches as they are. Yeah. And they did yeah. it for cheaper than everyone else. So. Yeah. I, I wonder if they, do you know if they have like that, method of clicking like patented because i haven't seen any other company do a click bar yeah. i'm not actually sure if they have the click bar patented but they definitely have that box design patented mm -hmm. um with, with that with the stem on the the, the clicker on the stem yeah okay. Um, okay but yeah i'm not really sure I, I think that the only other place that i've seen something resembling a click bar is on an otomu switch maybe 
or uh, yeah, something like that. And it's not even the same type of click bar. It's, it more resembles the snap spring than anything else. Oh, yeah. I, I have my snap springs. I got to get those out. Someone forced me to buy that keyboard, so <laughs> got to take that out. I, I think these are our, oh, I guess we have like five more. One's a snap spring, and then two are like a pale blues. So we have the mystery switch that I told you about. That you figured out what it was. It came yeah. Oh, was Kale it? Pro Heavy Sage. Kale Pro Heavy Sage. For pros, not yeah. gamers. <laughs> so that's super so... ironic, right? So it's for pros, but it's heavy. Mm -hmm. so it, like, makes it, it has, I think, an 80 gram spring. 70 or 80 gram actuator, uh, 70 or 80 gram peak force and, and bottom out for the spring. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, actuation is also reduced but yeah it just has that heavy spring so uh if you're into it i guess it's cool it's kind of <laughs> it doesn't make sense for a gamer switch or a pro switch but it's there so yeah it's i don't it's even one of those things where it's like you know if you want it we got it but we don't really know yeah. who we made this for yeah uh i'm not sure that it's actually still being made actively i think it might be discontinued or at least Novel Keys is not carrying it anymore, and they don't plan to in the future. And um, the other places like uh, KBD fans or KP Republic, they might just have old stock. Mm, yeah. Like, it's just not selling. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know who would buy it when there's so many other better clicks out there. Mm -hmm. and it's, this one's heavy. Weird. I guess I can appreciate the heavy part, but not that much. <laughs> <laughs> not this much. I would throw this in in D tier, like mediocre, but more more like why would anyone buy this kind of thing? Like why tier? Yeah, like why? I don't get it. Why tier? And this, the next one used to be one of my favorite clicky switches before I learned more about clicky switches. Yep. And this is a Kale Speed Bronze, mm. which is it's a, a click, click bar, bar, so I don't blame you. Yeah, yeah, it is a click bar. When I first uh, used this, I was like, dang, those are some clean, crispy clicks. So I really liked it, but it's too high pitched for me and it's too loud. I mean, I'm not a clicky person, so. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So yeah, click bars are nice, but still they're clicky. So yeah, still gotta. That's the like the consensus of it. It's click bars are nice. The clickies are clickies at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, I would throw this in B tier. Yeah, sounds good. I it's a click bar, so I'll take it. <laughs> And then we we have pale blue and uh, box pale or box heavy pale blue, something like that. It's a weird naming convention. Oh. Let me look forward. Pale blue. I've got so many switches around here. I found my pale blue, but I didn't find my my box pale blue. Oh, so that's a non-box pale blue. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are so you didn't know these existed? I'm not surprised that they exist, but I kind of forgot they did, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the, the, the Pro Sage. It's like they have all these obscure kind of switches that, that no I don't know, they're, they're very, very specific. Yeah, this one's heavier. And that's all I can say. It's heavier. I don't know if it's got a click bar or not. Look at the bottom. 
Look at the bottom, yeah, like this. Yeah, the 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 bottom of the bottom housing like that. Yeah, and do you see a, a click bar inside that that SMD hole, like where the Yes. where the RGB was trying? Yeah. Do you see a little bar there? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. It's got a click bar. Yeah. So those are so those are probably just like kind of like how sherbets are. It's a normal stem. normal stem kale switch with a click bar They feel better than sherbets. They're more they're more uh, stable feeling, like they're not shaky feeling. That means I would put them in in C tier. I can't find my box one though. Is the box one and this one the same except one is a box? It should be, yeah. It Okay. should be the same click bar, and I'm not sure that it would be the same spring, but. But it's wa dust proof. Yeah. I would toss this in in C tier. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good place for them. At this point, it's getting so difficult to put them anywhere. I'm, I'm, so, I'm like, oh, there's all clicky switches. What am I doing? Yeah. Yeah, after a certain point it all just kind of melts into Yeah, the same it thing. all blurs together. So box boxes, but you know, pale blue C tier. I've got snap springs, and then I've, I've you you sent me one of the cherry blue retools. What do you mean by retool? So retool means that it was the the previous mold to hyperglide like uh, somewhere around the 2000s or something they had the 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 old MX which we I we would call those pre-tool I think and then around then they changed them into retool which was what the molds are which is what uh all the cherries were basically up until 2020 when they released hyperglide So retool um and, and is between 2020 and 2000. Yeah, so it's based. It's been a long run of of uh, of MX switches. Um, I'm not sure when the year was when they changed to when they retooled the housings to make them retools, but um, but yeah, they were. It's basically um, the Cherry MX switches that were available before Hyperglide. Okay, I see, I see. Okay. So slightly older molds, slightly rattlier, slightly looser tolerances. Mm hmm Yeah. Yep, it's cherry mix blue. I don't That's know it. Yeah, it I is don't what know it what is. else You know? to say. <laughs> It's Full blue. nylon housing, so you can still, if you hate them, you can still Franken switch them. Um, yeah. Look good in a jar, I guess. I, f I feel like I preemptively already tossed them into F tier. I don't know if they deserve that. But they're there. They're definitely lower thirst for sure. <laughs> Uh, they're there. but I don't. If you like blues, they're okay. They're they're not horrible blues as blues go. Yeah, I I think they're they're more like tight almost. <laughs> they're less messy feeling, less messy sounding. And the last one, snap springs. <laughs> snap springs. Ah, uh, yeah. They come in a keyboard because if I had, if I wanted to buy them separately, I would have had to buy ten thousand of them. And it's it's not just a keyboard; it's a low profile keyboard. Uh, the tech where It's a low profile switch. They even give you information. Normal switch. Little profile switch. Yep. Not not sure what else to say other than it's clicky. Yeah, it has shortened travel. Yeah, short and travel. 60 gram peak, 1.2 millimeter actuation, 3 millimeters to the bottom. Nothing that special. But they sent me ones by themselves. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you have extra. <laughs> oh yeah, extras.
real switch low profile switch they're sort of cute very cute looking the click isn't anything special click 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 And I mean, it's cool that the design, I guess, is kind of innovative. It's not a normal clicky switch, right? It has uh, some weird snap mechanism in it, but but who would buy the switches in the first place? <laughs> tech techware would. Who sells them? Oh, is it Odamu? Yeah, Odamu Snap Springs. Uh, tech. Yeah. Yeah, Odamu Snap Springs sold in bulk to other companies who put them inside their keyboard, like Techware. Now I can give you all a sound test of my abomination keyboard that I built today. Oh, this is, this is clicky hell. <laughs> I, I, I arranged them all weirdly. It doesn't sound that bad when you have IEMs on. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing sounds that bad. So snap springs, they're unique. They're interesting. I think I would still put them in F tier. Or D, F or D. Yeah. Toss them in there. Yeah, I think this is our, our final tier list here. In S, there are three switches. Box Shades, Randy's favorite. Box Navies, and White Owls. Which I, I put, in, put in there because I'm biased. Good looking S tier right there. Yeah, it's a good looking oh. S tier. I, I think if you didn't know anything about clicky switches and you went off of this tier list, it would be pretty good. I don't think we'd be failing you. Yeah, pretty good options. Pretty safe. Yeah. And then in A tier, there's the... What is this? Glaze Green, Noble Yellow, and Box Crystal Pink. Pretty solid. All the top ones are click bars. B, we have... What is this? Oh, an Optical Blue... I put that there. <laughs> it's smooth. The smooth one. Uh, kale gold, kale speed gold, kale speed bronze, and crystal jades. I and... just want to mention that there is a kale optical box navy. <laughs> what? Kale optical box navy? Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a thick click bar optical switch but i don't know any boards that are compatible with it since all optical switches are proprietary design oh yeah. oh we got a raid apiary Why keyboards would they make that? marcia thank you for the oh, raid thank you so much oh snap hello hello welcome we're approaching the end here as well we've got our finalized clicky switch tier list if you're into those clickies you know you could be you, you you could be feeling real good right now. The new zeal clickies? No, they didn't send those to me. I asked. I got ignored. I could probably shoot them another email. Oh. Maybe we'll be a little bit cooler in their books after they see the stream. Yeah, that's right. You know, we are clicky lovers. We give them attention. They'll have jades from the start. Nice jades are jades are the best. Clicky Gang's got to come out of the shadows and rise up. Joe Linear and Tactile Gang, who's boss? Uh, I don't know. I feel like they're too scared of getting bullied. <laughs> <laughs> of all the people, uh, what percentage of people do you think uses clicky switches, though? 
of people who can actually choose like like people who choose to use clicky switches or people who bought a keyboard and they're stuck with clicky switches people who choose to mm -hmm. i'd uh, probably a pretty small percent like under 20 around 20 or under 20 i would say oh i was thinking like five but it could be more than that in the hobby outside of the hobby i think that that percentage would go up a ton just people getting their first gaming keyboard and getting their clicky switches so in the hobby i was thinking like five percent i've never really heard of someone who would tell me like hey i really want clicky switches what are your best clicky switches that you like yeah, usually it's yeah, it's a true. We're harder to find. Like Clicky Gang is harder to find. But maybe. They but usually, if you mention Jade, if you mention the Click Bar, usually will come out. Like that's right. <laughs> Stand together. That's right. Yeah, Clickies. All right. So we're reviewing our tier list in C tier. There's Box Whites. I like those. Randy, you don't like those, but I do. And Boba Phoenix. Mute Jades, they're special, they're special, and the pale blue switches. So Mute Jades, if they were clicky, I don't, I don't like that I have to stipulate this every time, like Mute Jades, asterisk, if they were clickies, they would be here, asterisk, if they were tactiles, they would be in a different place completely. Yeah, it's kind of hard to judge though as well. Uh. Is this going to turn into a video? I think so. I think it's going to be like the dankest switch video on clicky switches you've ever seen on YouTube. I don't know how it will perform, but I think it'll be fun. <laughs> and I, I think we're providing some pretty good information here. What do you, th what do you think, Grandy? Useful? I think that uh, if we can get more people away from blues and into click bars, that's good in my book. That's right. So we're providing some good information here, trying to get people out of F tier here or where all the blues right. live and more up in here. S to B tier where all the quality clicky switches live. Then maybe clicky gang can go from 5% to like 25%. And if you don't like them, just take the click bar out and you're linear gang again. Yeah, that, that's, that's too much work <laughs> to buy click bars and then hate them and then that's open them all up and then take it's out. It's a flawed them. argument, but there it is. It's a very flawed argument. Any chance we can get some sort of name on the Switch picture for people who can't tell them all apart? Uh, let me share my... Randy, do you still have my Google Drive link? Yeah, one second here. I'll share it in... Should I share it in chat? Yeah, you can share it in chat. I think anybody who has the link can open up the, the folder. To be honest, the only reason I could tell them apart is because I took all the pictures and then had to label them so that I could put them into the list in the first place. Oh no, I don't know how to allow links. Let me see. Censored. What do I do? I'll have to, I'll have to do it. Okay. Let me see. I'm on Discord, so I'll have to. I'll I'd... send it to you. On... <laughs> yeah, that, that would work better. You send it to me and then I'll send it to them. There we go. Anybody with that link should be able to use it. And I labeled all of them really nicely for you. Except for this one, the various Garon Blues, those aren't very nicely labeled. I just think various Garon Blues. Yeah, I think that's a negligible difference between the blues anyway. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think that's our that's our tier list. I don't know. Any objections in the chat? Any vetoes on where these things belong? 
S and A, yeah. S is box shades. Do I need to say the kale box shades? Kale box navies and white owls. Are these also kale switches? Kale white owls. And then A is... I'll let Randy say those. I don't remember their names. Yeah, so A tier is going to be uh, box glaze green on the, on the left, noble yellow in the middle, and crystal pink on the right. S and A. Yeah, and for the click bar sizes in those, uh, glaze green is going to be your thin click bar that's in box white, and noble yellow and uh, crystal pink are going to be the pink midsize click bar. So and I believe everything on S tier is thick clicks. Ooh, so that's all. Awesome. Thick clicks. Yeah, I think they, they feel the best. I don't know if I can use them on the daily because they require more force to click. They're good on like numpads and like for escape or caps lock and stuff like that. <laughs> Very nice. Go box for click then. Yes, go box. Never, never click jacket. Box click bars, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Crystal pink, the same as the box pink? If so, it should be in D, LOL. Dang. <laughs> that's harsh. There's, in D tier, there's no click, no, the, the Sherbert's the click bar in there. Sherbert's the only click bar in D tier. Dang. It's, it seems like people are pretty happy with what we got. Except Rizzo, you know, complaining about our box pink. <laughs> he's got the Saki King board, though, from the tournament. Yeah. You know, he's got the, over here. That's true. That's he's true. the blood enemy of Clicky Gang. <laughs> Is it Tactiles versus Clickies? And not Linears versus Clickies? Oh, no, he's got, he's got a Linear Aqua Kings. It's everyone versus clickies. <laughs> Everyone's anti-clicky. No, I I like it. I like it. I think next week we're doing tactile switches. And I haven't taken all the photos yet, but I think we've got a ton of them. Ah, switches. Oh, your tact tactile and linear are gonna be maybe twice as much as this. And linear's got the biggest box. I've got so many switches in there. Yeah. These event I think those eventually will start blurring in my head too. Like it'll just all be the same. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't wait for the Franken switch video. I don't do much Franken switches. Do you? I I personally Franken switch uh I do a lot of single Franken switches and if I like what turns out then I'll do a whole batch. Oh. Um, I do like to experiment a lot with like different housings and stems and stuff like that, but there's a lot of incompatibilities you have to watch out for, so it's not the best time. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gamball's Gamball's got really good Franken switches. Oh yeah, they're, those cranks are legendary now. They're the almighty, yeah, almighty Gamball. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Gamball. Lamb, Lord Gamball, teach me your ways. Okay, I'm going to save this for my own purpose. Download download this image for myself so that I can save it. But if any of you did make your own clicky switch tier list, uh, feel free to like tweet at me or something. See what you rank them. I'd be interested. I'm sure there's some people out there who disagree with the click bars ranking so high because you're a blue lover. What? Like, Blue blues lover. are great. <laughs> blues are blues are great, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll just laugh at that. No comment. The blues are great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I I think I think that's it. I think that's it. It's been it's been a pretty long stream. Mm. Two hours of clicky switches. That's like, is that more attention than they deserve? That's, that's a lot of attention for clicky switches. Uh, 
I, I'm I'm gonna get out of here. And uh, Randy, do you have anything else to say? Um, stay clicky. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something cringe. Something, Something cringe. Yeah. Click your heart away. Click it for the ones you love. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm out. I'm tired. Yeah, have a good night then. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Bye, Randy. Have a good night, everyone. Like a gang. All five of you. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for turning up. <laughs> thank you again, Apiary, for that for that raid. That yeah, was cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, okay good night everyone thank you so much for showing up i appreciate you for being here this was probably the most niche video on clicky switches on the internet maybe not maybe it will be who knows but uh, i hope to help some people out who want us you know use clicky switches and don't know what to buy these are for you this video is for you enjoy all right good night good night